Hello boys. Today we are going to study a beautiful poem. Wonderful words. And these words are the things every one should play with. Actually this poet talks about the you know english language he t he says english language is a wonderful language and everybody must know it and everybody must play with the words because words are beautiful wonderful very powerful very powerful tools to say what you want to say if you, you didn't have words then you would not have been able to say anything you want to say it is through words only i am telling you something which you are able to understand and sometimes when you don't understand my words you don't understand what i'm saying isn't it so this is true that words are the most powerful tool without words suppose we we go to a foreign land and we don't understand their language they will not understand our language so we will not be able to communicate with each other what to talk of uh, you know things of the heart we will not be able to talk even about the necessities the daily needs that is why words are beautiful so let's study this poem and enjoy you should not have the stress of exam while studying poems you must just see how the words are arranged by the poet and these words are like they create a musical effect in the poem so let's study the um, uh, wonderful words by mary o'neil imagine a world without language all humans speak at least one language the words we speak bring out our thoughts read the following poem on words yeah so here is the poem and we are going to because this is true that in a world without language we can't speak we can't express our thoughts so language is the medium of expression of thoughts never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it for english is a wonderful game and all of you can play it all that you do is match the words to the brightest thought in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fed for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said now look at this poem we go ahead words are the food and dress of thought they give it its body and swing and every one's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes may you may be your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise see there is a beautiful music in this poem and the thoughts are also beautiful just see they how they have been presented by the poet the poet says you you should read this poem again and again and try to understand the gist of it had you been in real class i would have asked you to read the poem and tell me what you understand by it similar thing you can do here you can pause and read this poem and try to understand okay give it a reading yourself and now 
I come back. I explain what is there in the poem, and then you will um, uh, all reflect how much you understood and how rightly you understood. Never let a thought shrivel and die. Never allow a thought shrivel. Shrivel means shrink, to sink, and die. Don't allow any thought to shrink and die. Why? For want of a way to say it. Want means lack. Suppose you don't know how to say it. Don't allow any beautiful thought shrink and die. Don't let it sink and die. I mean, maybe you have a wonderful thought in your mind, but you don't have the language. So don't allow that. For English is a wonderful game, and all of you can play it. Yes, English is a wonderful game, and it is game of words. And you can play it. Everybody can play it. And if you can play this game, then you can always speak whatever you want to say. Actually, you will enjoy. If you have good words with you, you can always play this game and enjoy. All that you do is match the words. What what you are supposed to do? Maximum, match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head. Like, what you want to say? Suppose you are feeling thirsty, for example. So, what you have to you have to express express that that you are thirsty. So, which word you will match? You will match the word thirsty. Mom, I am thirsty. So you will be happy that you have said what you wanted to say, and your mom also understands that you are thirsty. Suppose you say I am thirsty, and you, your mom doesn't understand it. She will put you to bed. Okay, go to sleep. So there will be a mismatch. So what you have to do? Match the word. to the thoughts in your head that is the beauty of any language that is the beauty of even your mother tongue you must know at least one language very well be it your mother tongue be it english or any other language so you have to match suppose you are very happy now for to express your happiness you have to match the words like joy wonderful wow marvelous you know you are expressing your happiness marvelous beautiful lovely now these thoughts these words will should come to express your happiness over something but if you speak of some other, you speak some other words they will not match they will not be able to express to express what you feel okay so all that you do what you have to do is match the words with the thoughts in your head in your mind so that they come out clear and true so that whatever you speak that is very clear and true true you know what you feel that you say and they are clear so, so others also understand and handsomely groomed and fed and those see those thoughts are or the words are handsomely groomed and fed this is called personification you know dead things are treated as living things this is a figure of speech which is called personification personification happens when we treat living uh, uh, unliving things the, like uh, dead things unliving things non living things sorry non living things as living things so thoughts we can't call them living but they are groomed because human beings are actually groomed and fed but here your thoughts are groomed and fed they are well taken care of with the help of words so they come out very well very well groomed very well looked after 
if you are able to take care of your thoughts with the help of suitable words your thoughts will come out handsomely beautifully for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said there are many things in the world which have not been said because there were no suitable words with the people with people they did not know suitable words to express what they wanted to say so they could not say people could not express what they wanted to express because they did not have suitable words and it happens with you also children in the class i understand that many of you understand many things and many of you want to say but because you don't have the suitable words you don't speak either you keep fumbling with words or you just keep trying with the wrong words am i right yes it is very very true all of us do find sometimes difficult to express what we want to say now let's go to next stanza words are the food and dress of thought see the poet calls words food and dress of thought that means any thought is dressed up or well fed only with the help of words means if you want a thought to be good i mean impressive you have to dress it with the help of good words they give it its body and swing words only give a thought its body they give it a shape and swing they they actually give it a beautiful shape dress it well and present it well it is only with the help of thought with the help of words a thought comes out well very true and everyone is longing today to hear everyone is longing longing means wishing everybody is wishing to hear some fresh and beautiful thing everybody wants a beautiful thing that is beautiful thought and that thought will come with the help of beautiful words that is why we call the the poet calls the words wonderful but only words can free a thought from its prison behind our, your eyes see everybody has got lots of thoughts those thoughts are hidden behind your eyes behind your eyes means in your brain your thoughts are behind your eyes they are hidden they can come out of this prison as long as the thoughts are in your mind they are in a kind of prison prison from where they have no freedom because they can't come out without the help of words so there are you know only words can free a thought only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes if you have a thought you can make it free only if you have beautiful words or suitable words right maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise maybe it is possible quite possible that your mind is holding some beautiful thought which is a beautiful wonderful surprise but you are not finding suitable words it is possible yes so this is the whole idea not thoughts are you know prisoners in the your mind unless you have beautiful words or suitable words to express them they cannot find any freedom so to give freedom to your thoughts you need wonderful words and wonderful words are those which are suitable for any kind of feeling or thought okay so we go ahead i hope it's clear to you this is the summary which will make it more clear all people think as well as speak 
it is god's special gift to man yes speech is god's special gift every person speaks at least one language to express his thoughts yeah that may be just his mother tongue the poet advises us to master a language at least our mother tongue we must not let a great or good thought die because we don't know how to say it we need to have words to express what we feel it can be in any language english is a wonderful and rich language one can express one's thoughts in this language effectively yes english is a wonderful language because it has many words what we need is to look for proper words to put forth our ideas clearly it is wrong to think that there are no lovely thoughts left to be expressed it is wrong because there are many lovely thoughts the only thing is we don't have suitable words words are a wonderful medium to communicate if you have some new and beautiful thing to say everyone is willing to hear it and for that you must have wonderful or beautiful thoughts suitable thought uh, words you should have suitable words so that you can express your beautiful thought every thought is like a prisoner in our mind because unless it comes out it is a prisoner and it can come out only when we have good words we can set that idea free with the help of words it is just possible that the thought may be marvelous thought may be marvelous wonderful but we need words isn't it now let's go ahead a bit there is uh, some matching exercise okay with your partner complete the following sentences in your own words using the ideas in the poem so these are the ideas taken from the poem and we are going to fill in the blanks do not let a thought shrivel and die because because what because of the want of words because you don't know how to say it right don't let a thought shrivel and die because you don't know how to say it now english is a what with words that everyone can play what is english english is a wonderful game with words that everyone can play there are many words in english and you can use those words to express your thoughts one has to match what match what yes one has to match the words with thoughts the words to the brightest thoughts in one's head correct next is words are the what are, what are they food and dress of thought okay and that is the end of the poem if you have understood the poem the next exercise which you have in your book that you can do yourself but uh, just understand because i have explained that right and just enjoy reading this poem just try to understand it and enjoy i hope you enjoyed reading it and you will work upon it okay right so bye then